This is how it's supposed to be actually. If we're using one cage for another customer, you gotta sterilize it. We all know that we have tough times now and to have extra help, unfortunately, it's not easy to have another employee at this time, but we have another barber comes in on the weekend for now. But for now we have no reception girl. Okay, ma'am, please. You got it. Here you go. Good. Good to see you. You look great. Thank you. Got the Louis Lou Vuitton cover? Yeah, we oh. were on the show. Yeah. Let it get too long. It's good. How are things with you? Doing okay, thank God. Yeah. Second one day at a time now. Huh? happy you told me you all booked up this morning. Man. Yeah, this morning. Good. This morning is, thank God, busy. Individual guys, as always, barbers get ready. Sanitation department are coming our way. We have to be prepared. So what are we doing? The usual? Yeah. Nice and real short on the side and uh, you know, pretty low. Still go with the machine or scissors? On the side, then go with the machine. Machine? Yeah. So the usual number. Yeah, what did you do that? Well, I went for the five. The five or the five again? We went a little bit longer last time. Oh, that is true, we did. Let's go to four. A little bit shorter? Yeah. As always, I say, guys, now uh, I said hello to Matt. Now I'm saying hello to his hair. Even if even I remember how I do, I still like to comb it to see how it grew out. And we always talk about the communication, about the bond between the barbers and customers. Because I always say that barbers are psychiatrists. And within years, when you build that relationship with the customer, he becomes not a customer, he becomes a friend. Like Matt here. You what, you, you started coming here since, since I moved to this location. That's yeah. four years already. Yeah, I walked by one day and I saw the space and I walked in. And uh, I, I, I've been to the same barber for over 20 years. That's uh, well, what I grew up on 88. What's his name? Uh, Joe. Bring it up. Yeah. From where? Joey lived out, uh, he's, you know, he's been in the shop for 50 years. He lived out in Brooklyn. 50 years? 50. Italian. Yeah. Respect to all Italians. Yeah. And uh, one day I went in to get the haircut and uh, they had the signs up saying they were closing the next day. Oh. So I went and got my haircut. I came back the next day with a case of beer and just hung out. Uh, and then I went to one place in Midtown for a little bit when I was working. It was just fine enough. And then I saw your shop because I 
uh, was at a, my friend was working at a bar near here, so I came in to take a look. He gave me a uh, best haircut I've gotten in a long time, and I knew I had to, uh, I had my new barber. I feel very strongly. I don't go, I go to the same person for as long as they take care of me. And like I said, I went to jail for 20 years, and hopefully I see you for even longer than that. So then he retired, right, Joe? He retired, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went to spend time with his kids and his grandkids. Well, unfortunately now, there's few Italian barbers left. Really? Yes, because the new generation, they don't want to become a barber. It's like in my community. Yeah. All the former Soviet Union, we call them Bukharian yeah. Jewish. I mean, there are still new generation going, but not like in 90s. I remember right. everybody were going to the barber shops, uh, schools, and they were becoming barbers. Now it's changing. A lot of Turkish people are taking over in the barbering industry, which are great barbers. I got to give it. And from Uzbekistan, uh, the U Uzbeki people, they're doing tremendous good job so barbering industry became very mixed i had a friend who i met the first time i went to israel who was Bukharian, and he was cutting hair on uh, the east side on 97th and Mexico. so i went and saw him a few times but then, what was his name again his name is meyer meyer rabinovich and uh, he and I went to Israel together, and then I went and visited him a few times before he switched shops. He moved way out to like Brighton Beach. But he's a funny guy. I went to his wedding. I'd never been to a Bacallian wedding before. I didn't know what to expect. You have? I like this. So I always tell people. So the, the, I, uh, after the after the wedding was performed, we went into some room and we started. They had all the all the food out on buffets and they had carving stations and I started eating and a bunch of people started saying to me, hey, slow down, slow down, we haven't started yet. I'm like, what do you mean we haven't started yet? There's so much food in here. After Hoopa, you have the smokers bar. Exactly. And then we went to the other room and I've never seen a spread, a spread like that. You already fill yourself up in the smokers bar. Exactly. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. The only thing I knew was one kid who I worked with. I told him where I was going, and he knew, you know, he knew the venue, and he knew people who got married there. And he told me to take a couple uh, one dollar bills with me. Yeah. Yeah. For the I musicians. Didn't, I didn't know. No, 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 no. To, to throw on the couple while they were there. While they, right, yeah, that exactly. goes to the musicians. Oh, okay. After that. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. They sweep that up, but and musicians get that as a tip. I have never, I've never seen a spread like that. I remember that there was one of those big metal salad bowls to fill the caviar on each table, and two bottles of vodka for each table. It was like a Tuesday night, I think I was there till 3 in the morning. Didn't make it to work the next day. So it was in Queens then? It was. Big restaurant? Yeah. You don't remember the name I probably. I remember, it was a... It was a, it was a on a, Queens Boulevard somewhere, right? Yeah, I think so. It was like a, it was like a private venue. Uh, like a, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a reception hall, a gala hall. Well, and that's that's only they they yeah. family owned. Yeah. I like to give a small shout out to my brother Ilya, and his father Michael. God bless you guys. You were in Elagio. A lot of chandeliers, probably, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You cannot beat them. Nah. Love you guys. <laughs> that was that was some kind of night. I was the only person from the trip he invited to the wedding because I was the only one he would see for a uh, while. So I was sitting at the table. The only people I, was, uh, I knew at the wedding who were there with me were the other guys who worked at the barber shop. <laughs> no, a lot of barbers yeah. from the hiring community. Well, guys, Matt here is trying, and I think you you had small opening, right? We just opened a few uh, few days ago. Uh, I'll, let, I'll, I'll let everyone know. We opened a uh, restaurant restaurant on 146th and Broadway. 
146 on Broadway, guys. Called Bird in Hand. Uh, we have an amazingly talented chef named Jamel Williams, who's doing um, very seasonal, local, farm to table, new American food. And I gotta tell you, his food is unbelievable. Even right now, before we have our gas turned on, or we're just using a couple electric cookers, everything he puts out is gorgeous and it's all delicious. And I'm running the bar, so we have a whole bunch of cocktails on the menu. Uh, New York City beer, New York State wine. But I'm really proud of the cocktails. And they've been, uh, even just the last two weeks, uh, people in the neighborhood coming through, everyone's been having a great time. So if you find yourself in Hamilton Heights, come up and pay us a visit. Guys, check it out. I'm going there probably within two weeks. I'll be there. Uh, I can't wait. It's nothing better than local family-owned businesses. Unfortunately, no. within years, we saw everything. Corporate, corporate, corporate. buying for the neighborhood and I listen I love that neighborhood my partner on the on the bar lives up this three blocks away I'm there every day I live near close enough um and there's a lot of really good spaces up there there's a lot of good places to hang out and have a bike but nothing like what we're doing uh nobody's doing food like us nobody's going to be doing cocktails like us and uh we've already you know in the two weeks we've opened we've already had people coming second third fourth time through uh, That's I, important I in the business. Heard, I, I haven't heard a negative word from anybody yet. So as long as we can keep it going, uh, we got we're starting to hire up some staff. We got two uh, really wonderful, talented uh, young women bartending, um, and then I'm on the floor with my partner, sometimes managing, sometimes behind the bar myself. Uh, my friend Yost is uh, managing the, the the bar aspect and buying all the beer. He knows beer better than I do. And uh, chef in the kitchen working his magic. So it's been it's a really good team. Uh, it's a really good environment, right? And uh, I haven't heard uh, anybody. The only the only negative word I've heard so far was one guy who ordered wings and they were too spicy for his daughter. Uh, but it, it's fine. He ate them all himself. <laughs> so that doesn't even count as a negative. She got she got the other style and she was very happy. You're gonna be open seven days. Right now, we're open Tuesday to Saturday. Um, once we get our gas on and we can do everything that we want and we get staffed up a little bit, we'll go to six and then seven. But our plan is for the... Are you open for lunch or not? Like, or for dinner? the summer, we'll be open probably 3 p.m. to 2 a.m. So this is exclusive, now I understand. Probably This is exclusive, exclusive, guys. Yeah. For the summer, we'll be open at the beginning because we're just taking things slowly. Uh, like 3 p.m. to midnight on weekdays, 3 p.m. to 2 a.m. on weekends. And once we get outdoor seating, which we have the right to, we just want to make sure we're comfortable with everything inside before we expand. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, we'll add brunch on weekends. Uh, and then once we're comfortable with that, we'll start doing lunch on weekdays too. We'll be noon to midnight or something like that. And then really down the line, we're going to be open 8 a.m. Uh, we have we have a really nice coffee service. We're doing uh, espresso, cappuccino, drip coffee, uh, and we'll do a little breakfast service as well. So if you want to come in and have a cup of coffee on your way to work, or if you if you're working remote and you want to come set up and work from here, we got you. So it's smart. You're doing it slowly. Exactly. We Graduately. Want, yeah, we don't want to overwhelm ourselves at the beginning. Like right smart. now, you know, five days a week is very comfortable for us. Uh, I'm taking Friday night off with my uncle's 75th birthday, so we're going to dinner. So one of the new women we hired who was training the last two days, and honestly, half, halfway through the first shift, she wasn't even training anymore. She picked it up very quickly. Uh, she'll be working for me on Friday while I go see my family. Uh, but, you know, we're just easing into things. Don't want to get, uh, you know, overwhelmed. Don't want to start screwing anything up. Uh, but right now, everything's been very smooth. Um, and man, I really, I can't tell you enough about, even without our gas kitchen, uh, our chef is just using, uh... Well, there's still no kitchen? You're still building it? No, the kitchen is open. It, it's, and it's beautiful. We just don't have the gas to operate the machinery until Con Ed turns it off. Okay, gotcha. So right now we have a convection oven, which is electric. We have two induction burners, which are basically like fancy hot plates, and, um, a little, like, tabletop deep fryer. And... 
he is working magic with that. So we've got uh, two really nice styles of chicken wings on the menu. We have a truffle mac and cheese, which is one of my favorites. Um, fried cauliflower with a vegan ranch dressing, which is really special. Um, a charcuterie board, um, a really, really wonderful salad, and um, for dessert, uh, homemade strawberry shortcake. Which, uh, so chef, one of my chef's specialties is biscuits. So the biscuits he makes for, you know, for dinner service, like we'll serve with our chicken down the line, he makes those, cuts them in half, and puts the fresh strawberries and whipped cream on them. It's, nice. it's, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, and uh, I knew I forgot something. Um, he's doing fried deviled eggs. He's taking... Fried deviled eggs? He's taking the egg white. Okay. Battering it and frying it, and it's very light. It's almost like a tempura fry, and the eggs become really fluffy, and then you stuff them after they've been fried. Interesting. They're really cool. I've never seen anything like it before. So, guys, check it out when you're on 146, right? 146 in Broadway. 146 in Broadway. You got me interesting. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, about listen. Those chefs, they're very creative. Yeah, a lot of very creative chefs. He's, he's brilliant, and he's a, and he's an incredible kind man. Really, really wonderful to work with. It's just so, that much, that much better. Well, I always say to open up business, yes, in some ways it's hard. You got to deal with permits, but at the same time, it's easy yeah. to run it, to bring back the customers, to give the customer service, good food. That's what hard and to survive and to stay in the business. Mm -hmm. That's already a talent. Yeah, that was, I knew just based on my own skills and my partners, like I know that we'll be able to handle the, the managing part, the you know, customer service part. I needed to make sure, and the space is beautiful. We've worked very hard. How big is this? It. Uh, it's about 2200. That's big. Yeah. That's big. It's, it's comfortable too. 
Um, like I, uh, I knew that the space would be beautiful once we got all that work done. And it's still, we're still having problems. We're still waiting for the gas. We have to, uh, we, uh, we found out our air conditioner has a leak in our pipe, so we got to get that fixed this week. Um, but I knew that once we got the door open, uh, as long as we could provide a quality product, people would be happy. And uh, the chef, like I mentioned, uh, is doing his job and then some. Uh, and uh, my job has been putting together the, the beverage program. So uh, the cocktails people are really enjoying, uh, the wine people have been enjoying, the, the, the beer, which is not me, uh, it's a fun manager. Continue to provide them a quality product and do it with uh, you know the, the service that they deserve. Uh, I, I, I trust that will be a successful for a long time. Uh, it's got to keep going. You know, never, you just never become complacent. Well, one thing I'll tell you, and it's within my own experience. I've seen you since you started, mm -hmm. and it wasn't easy. Now, we signed this lease in July of 2019. We thought we were going to open in 2020. Guys, you hear that, right? Mm -hmm. And one, I, I have, not tears in my eyes, but that thing that I remembered in my life, whatever comes easy, you lose it. Mm -hmm. Whatever comes hard way stays for a long time. Don't forget that. So that restaurant is going to be there for 30, 40 years. Mark my word. I appreciate that. I agree with what you said. You know, if, you, if, it's, if it's difficult and you, and you overcome, it's not much more important. If it was, you know, if it was easy, anyone else could do it. Uh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Speaking to my partner this morning, he knew so I was no, so I was coming down to see him. He was saying he might need to get himself a, a hot shave too. So I told him okay. to come see you. Thank you, Mama. Enjoy the nice to see you. Ah, so good. Yeah, you're a couple of pounds lighter, man. Yeah. I was a lot of hair. Top, I went a tiny bit shorter. Yeah, I can tell. To, I like to, it. Though. To, to, to cut it. that dead ends, you had a lot of. No, you know, absolutely. And, you know, was, uh, but I, uh, right before I came down here, uh, I had a the woman come up to clean my apartment. Uh, and yesterday, I just took a few hours for myself before I went to work to put things away. It's just been so busy the last few weeks that every time I go home, I end up like I, I, I'm throwing my clothes on the floor and going to bed. So it's the same reason. Yeah, something. Yeah, I was nine nine thirty. I'm out. But now, now that I can breathe again, now I'm sleeping again. I'm on a schedule. I can come see you every couple of weeks like I want to. Well, now we have more vitamin D. The sun is exactly. here. Exactly. Uh, it gets dark later, <laughs> so we're good. Oh. We're good. 
I, I want to get better than myself right now. Sometimes I forget to give them. Yeah, I use the ones you give me. So sometimes I, uh, sometimes I, sometimes I, I remind you because the, I like uh, they're nice combs. They really are. Like professionals. Them. Exactly. Static free. Cash or card? Uh, card, please. So I didn't want to ask what we were doing now, but what are you filming for? This is for my social media channel. Cool. Is it to add anything? No, I'm going to give you cash for that. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Yeah, you put uh, some good stuff on there. I like following you. Uh, you're doing that 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 class, or did that already happen? With the no, this I'm doing some random thing. limb. Yeah, I, this guy. Oh yeah. Dimitri, hey, he man. was working with us. Then he moved out. The easiest person that I ever worked with. Yeah. It's him. So he moved. I started struggling. So now he moved closer. I'm like, listen, why don't you come for the whole day? Let's work. So this way we have enough content. Hey, nice to see you, bro. Man. I'll see you. I'll see you probably. I'm going to be traveling. Shoot me a text. We're still doing soft open until the next probably two or three weeks. But I'm going to be there Tuesday through Saturday. And then once we get the gas on, when we do our, our friends and family party, I'm going to make sure you get invited to that. Be blessed. You. Guys, check him out. Bird in hand. 146 in Broadway. See you.